This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Bedford of Newcastle and with the yeah. victorious Joe Laws back to winning ways tonight. Yeah. A points victory over Chris Attaway. Joe, yeah. first and foremost, congratulations. Let your burps out. Talk to me about your performance. You know what? At times, now, at times it felt good. At times it felt shit. At times, like, this is the Joe Laws back. At times, like, oh, I got caught with a jab. But uh, that's boxing, that's life. Uh, I felt like I was in control of the full fight, but I just got a bit complacent at times. I lost my temper at times. But the perfect way to describe it is ring rust. I fought once in 18 months. I feel like if I fought him right now, I would do a lot, lot better than what I just did. It got to the third round, I was like, right, knee ball, I'm, I've broke a sweat, I've let some shots go, I've took some shots. This feels normal again. But uh, that's the perfect, the perfect word to describe it. Uh, I'm going to go home, have a week off, and then just back and jump back learning. I've signed, I've, signed, I've signed with MTK. Hopefully the staff corona pisses off. And we can start filling out the Eagles Arena with a full crowd, you know what I mean? I spoke to your old man yesterday. I went with some food together, and he said to me he wanted to see a disciplined performance from you tonight. Yeah. He wanted to see you using your jab a lot more. Was it hard not to get carried away at times or with your fans back in there making all that noise? Yeah, you know what? I wasn't daft, you know. Uh, if I was fighting that, uh, the first opponent... I would have that a bit more, let's empty the tank. But I knew, I know, I, like, I, I watch boxing and I boxing. I and I, Chris is a tough kid. Has, he's, has, last me being stopped was for a year ago. You know what I mean? He's tough as nails, right? I wasn't going to get him out of there with them looting me shots, right? So I, I thought to myself, right, try and get the six rounds in the bank, win every round. And even Tom Stoker was saying in the back, whether you empty the tank and win the round, it's still 10 9. Whether you just nick the round, you know what I mean? And I don't just want to be a four on fire. I want to fight for these titles at 10 rounds and 12 rounds. So I've got to learn to nick rounds, save my energy. And then in the, like, the six, seven, eight, nine, I can hold my feet and still it out, you know what I mean? But uh, at times, I did, I did lose my temper a bit. But I think I did hold a bit more discipline. How much to back, I, I don't know what I'm saying, you know. But uh, I feel like uh, I'm back. I'm back learning. I'm... Uh, I'm not scared to start again. I got there, one fight, two fight, two, nine fights, one nine, knock two five. Next thing you know, I'm on, I'm on the big poster, I'm on the big table, I'm thinking, fucking hell, this is great, this. I got knocked out, boom, boom, boom. There's, there's reasons behind that, but never mind, I got knocked out. I picked myself back up, I'm back here, and now I'm back on that build, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna be a young, arrogant divvy, so I can't the likes of Devon here, and you know that, you know what I mean? I think I got a bit carried away with the hype a bit, you know, but you can't blame us, you know what I mean? I'm a young kid who loves boxing. I did get the better of him spawn. I was nine fights, one nine. I thought, I was, I was thinking, yeah, boxing's easy. <laughs> but uh, I want to say a big thing to Eddie Hearn as well, because he, he didn't have to put us on this bill. He didn't. He, he's got loads of fairs out there who, uh, who he could have put on, but he put us on, yeah. So Eddie... Charles, mate, you're a man, you word, and that's all I'm saying. And uh, I will, I will repay him back because I can. Ryan, I promise you now. Sky Sports Boxing, the Zone Boxing, all these big nights. I'm, I am bringing the nights back to Newcastle. People don't, people don't forget. I promise you now. Uh, I want this. You know what I mean? At Christmas, I ask myself, do I actually want this? I've got a very, very close aunt and uncle who's got a. A mint, uh, a mint clavin and roofing business. I think it's that anyway. But I could quit boxing now and go and work with them and get good money. You know what I mean? I don't need, I do boxing because I love it. I wake up in the morning, I'm sipping my Costa coffee and I'm thinking to myself, what can I do the day to make us a better boxer? You know what I mean? We all get nervous, but I want to fill out these arenas and with face like this, I've learned so much. And with MTK partners now, I'm starting afresh. Now I'm going to just keep building on this, keep learning. In five, six fights time, who knows where I could be? You know what I mean? Joe, you seem in a great place now. You've been very open with us and, and with the media in general about the, the hardships you had after yeah. the Ryland Charlton fight and over Christmas and stuff like that. When your name was read out at the end of the fight there, was it a bit of a release for you? Oh, I was now, Ryan. It was meant to... Uh, we now what, Ryan, I, I, like, even though I started believing my own hype a bit, I've always stayed down to earth, you know, and I, even when I got beat, my me, me support was still there, my pads were still there. Even now, I walk in my local, and, the, and like, as soon as the boys get a bit pissed, they will have me life a bit, you know what I mean? And, uh, but uh, that's just the way it is, Ryan. But uh, like I say, I'm 26 years of age. 
And that box is who stored box in the age of 24 and 25. Uh, now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take fights and box with my head. No, no, I'm not gonna take fights and box with my balls. I'm gonna use my head because I have a boxing brain. And I hope I showed that a bit the night. Uh, I got the win, won every round I felt, got caught a few completion jabs, but uh, I feel like these six rounds, eight rounds are suits better, you know what I mean? A few days off and then I'll be back um, I'll be back in the gym. Just a couple more, Joe. You're back, you're back to winning ways. What comes next? A nice pizza. Now what? Um, Pete, I've been working with Pete Bell, my nutritionist. And uh, in Spawn, I've been feeling mint and Spawn. And uh, I'm going to have a good, a good relaxed week off. And then me and Pete's going to get straight back on with a new plan. Me and my strength coach, Stephen Sharp, maximum violence. We're going to get started with a new plan. Me and Nick Gates are going to get started with a new boxing plan. And just get better. MDK will be back up here by the end of the year. And uh, I want these full arenas, Ryan, when I'm walking out with my tune. I got a bit of emotion there because uh, my nanny's funeral song was Country Roads. She loved us, you know. She was my uh, number one fan, my nanny, but uh, fucking, <coughs> like, uh, just fucking, yeah, uh, yeah, nanny, I fucking love you. <laughs> and uh, it's been fucking, it's, it's been hot awesome since, um, since Christmas, but uh, I'm back and uh, I was buzzing. <coughs> Well, Joe, I think that's a great place to end it. Thank you for nice being man. so open for your time, as always. Uh, one more thing. Just a big thank you to all my sponsors, my support. I love you as all. I, I get around to you as all. And now I'm, I'm going to watch April Hunt and I win. Bombs got all the way. Get up. Joe, you shared the ring with Chris Hadaway tonight. I understand you, you've got something you'd like to share from speaking to Chris as well. Uh, you know what? I know Chris before this fight, and uh, I was meant to fight my third fight. But my opponent's got a change, and he's a legend. But uh, two of his good friends died last year. I think they'll call Youngy and Chubsy or Chubby, but uh, I just want to dedicate this fight to him on his behalf. He's a boxing legend and uh, Chris Hathaway, Charles Powell. <laughs>